Get that face wipe rocking. It's the Burt's Bees. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me and Dave picked those up yesterday. Those are uh, big time. Oh. Yeah, they smell delicious, right? Oh. You know about smelling oh. delicious. Oh. Give, me give me that mic. Give me that mic. Oh. Wipe your face. I'm going to. We're on right now. Oh, we're on? Oh, we're again. always on. I mean, we're on, but we're, we're always on. We're on. We're always on. Oh, wow. Let me get this. Oh, my God. Look Those at these cool. fucking. Oh, Jack my God. Balls. I'll tell you what, there's two girls over there dressed in white with white skirts. Talk they're definitely better. running like a women's doubles. Not only do they look like they're about to crush this shit, they also look like they are some of the hottest Norwegian chicks I've ever seen in my Norwegians. life. Norwegians? Yeah, because they, they got that Norwegian look to them. What does a Norwegian look like? Pale skin, blonde hair, bleach blonde, blue tall? eye. Uh, ish. I mean, listen, you tall to me is fucking 5'7". What so. do you believe <laughs> the average height... Of, of a, a Norwegian woman, woman uh, is. I said a male woman. I am fucking cooked. First day of Pride Month, too. It's crazy. Damn. Just Shout out to Pride shit. Month. Happy June 1st, everybody. I'll tell you what Panetti did say to me. <laughs> <laughs> Panetti did say to me, Happy Pride Month if you're thinking of skipping training today, brother. <laughs> oh, Panetti is one to get us canceled real quick. <laughs> Those right. are his thoughts, yes, not Yes, that's mine. John Panetti, my that old, old co-host. not my thoughts. First and foremost, let me just uh, give a little intro. Welcome to episode 100 wow. here on the Pier 76 live. in Manhattan. Live. I mean, not live for you guys, yeah, live for us. Live for us. We're getting to hang out a little bit. We got <laughs> the homies from OG over to the right. Oh, yeah, we got OG years all over the place. Your, your stage left if you're watching yep. the video. We got people competing currently. Right behind me. Right behind Tyler. That motherfucker's sprinting. They're sprinting. And we're, you we're, might hear me scream some shit. You're screaming some shit, right? Hold I'm on. liable to scream some shit. Hold on one second. Let's see. What do you got? Let's see. Well, first off, I need to talk to you, oh, about, you... about your heat. But My heat? The, let's see. Average yeah, let's get, let's, let's Norwegian. Get that up. But either way, while Nick's looking that up, we are, again, live from Pier 76 here in New York City. It is 85 and sunny. We are on blacktop, so it probably feels like 96. <laughs> and... Uh, it's High Rocks Day, motherfucker. This is what we train for at the gym. Well, no, 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 no. Take that back. This is what, this, is what, this is what you train for. I yeah, don't train well, for this. I say we as in OG. OG okay, okay. are out here in full force. Right. There's got to be at least 100 of us today. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of OG motherfuckers out here today. There's definitely a lot of people. It's cool. I, truth be told, it's cool to see all the competing gyms and everybody doing oh, yeah, their thing. Dope. Shout you out to the like, training lab. Shout out to Training Lab, yes. Big, big ups. You, it's cool because you get to see, like, actually see the camaraderie. Like I talked about with the jujitsu yeah. stuff. You get to see the camaraderie of everybody just, like, bundled up, hanging out together, yep. cheering everybody on. It's, so now, uh, your heat, you were on at 930. Yes, I started at 9. Were you the earliest heat? Uh, no. The earliest heat was actually Lenny and Evan. They okay. did men's doubles. It started at 730. Damn. That was the first heat. Now, what do you think? Uh, you being that you just did it, yeah. would you have rather have gone at 7.30 or 9.30 if your time? Or well, would you have rather have gone later? Well, it's a good, good question. I train early, so the earlier the better for me. I'm a 6.15 class guy. Okay. I, You know, when I run, it's usually like in the afternoons. Mm -hmm. But I would probably say uh, earlier the better for me. Better. Yeah, earlier yeah. the better. I don't mind the time I had, though. Like the actual start time. 9.30, you're saying? 9.30. It wasn't bad. Yeah. It, before it got too hot. Yeah, well, it's it's, it's baking now. I'm glad the camera is under the shade right now. Right. But yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty interesting to see everybody just Out continuing there. to perform. Yeah, and it's I mean, there's no cover, so Zero. you could see probably behind us up top, there is no cover. I mean, it's just open steel, right, with all the slits in it, slits and slats. Yeah, I'm just watching the sun just go directly overhead. I, it's fucking hot. So now, talk to me. How was Preparation for High Rocks. You did the sim. Yeah. Going from the sim, now going to High Rocks Live. What was it? Was there a big difference? This and that. Talk to me. Yeah. So, the one thing I'll say, like, obviously, you're you're judged through this. So, the sim, we we good. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. The sim, the yeah, sim. I can't see, so no, I'm making sure that no, we're no, on. Gotcha. The sim was done by Training Lab. So, you know, big ups to them. The, the coaching from OG was crazy in prep, in prep for this. I would say I gave it, I mean, I, I mean, I've been training with OG for a while now. It's over a year. And that's when, like, the cardio started getting better. And I started running a lot more probably in November-ish is when I really got myself going. Um, but, like, hardcore since January. Honestly, man, like, this is a runner's race. If you can't. You know, I mean, it's it's but the, endurance, but, but, you know, it's a but you can race. move. 
Yeah, man. I mean, listen, I got a lot better. I mean, am I pleased with my time? Listen, I beat what I wanted to do. I got 128. It's not, you know, it's about average, honestly. But uh, the fact that I did it, didn't throw up, uh, and I didn't cramp, like nothing crazy. Um, listen, man, I, I'm proud of what I did, without question. Um, proud that I had everybody here, you know, cheering on from coaches to, to Nikki and, you know, all, all the OG folks. Like, y'all, y'all are some real motherfuckers. And even, though, and like he said, the camaraderie with everybody else. Like, when I, fi- and I'll talk about, like, and I'm sure you got questions about, like, in the race, but, you know, through at the end of the race, I collapsed on the stage, just like, I'm exhausted for no other reason. But, like, the dudes that were next to me on the floor, we just had a conversation, like, Yo, proud of you, bro. Like, they don't know me from a hole in the wall. But, you know, the dude helped me get up. The other dude was like, yo, I'm proud of you, bro. Like, yo, we fucking did it. We fucking did it. Like, that's like, I understand more now doing the race why these fitness communities, if you find the right one, can take you to the next level, man. Yeah. So it's funny. These dudes don't know me. So it's funny. So I saw a TikTok and a dude said, "I'm, I'm, I'm done with the dating apps. And I'm 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 joining run clubs now. Yeah. Oh, that's like a big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like, I'm joining thing. run clubs now. And somebody commented in the in the uh, section. They were just like, "Wow, so he's just experiencing what communities and like yeah. dating people inside the community is like." So welcome, millennial. I I, I got to tell you, man, <laughs> the run clubs will. I mean, it does a lot of things. These people are probably more like you than anybody you're gonna find on a dating app. Like, yeah. I don't know. I've oh, well, you on, have to, you know, re- in a while. re-ask every fucking question about what do you yeah. like? What's your hobbies? This and that. Right. I know what your fucking hobby is. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here at six in the morning running a five mile. Yeah, right. A five k. Yeah, exactly. No, nah, dude, it's uh, it's been a very, very fun event. And honestly, it's it's set up beautiful. It is. It's really sick. <laughs> Even when I was doing the live on TikTok, I was like panning around. Yeah. Listen, you know me. We're New Yorkers. Heart, you know, fucking yeah, heart, blood, blood yeah. everything. When it comes down to it, it's like the city is cool. Don't get me wrong. I stay away from the city unless you have work or unless there's like an event like this, right. something like that. But when you really look around, you understand the allure of places like Manhattan. Manhattan. You want me to hold it for you? Yeah. I got you. You understand the, the allure from like places like Manhattan where the skyline is just in the background as everyone's just getting after it with their yeah. fitness shit right now. 100%. Or even like when you were doing your shakeout run, I thought how cool and how nice it must be to be able to run on the, on the pier and on the harbor yeah. and just like chill out. Now, don't get me wrong. Does that make up for all the shittiness of the city? No. Eh. Well, yeah, you, you heard you heard Taylor's mom. Taylor's mom said somebody got shot outside yeah, their hotel. Yeah, somebody got shot outside the hotel. So. That's awesome. So you know, strictest strictest gun laws of the uh, country, but yep. we'll leave that there. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so it's uh, it's just it's what really cool when you is. see stuff like this. It's just it's 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 dope, man. It's, it's super. Dope. It makes it all it makes it all uh really special. So let me ask you. Talk to me. Rewind. So. You come in, you 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 warm up, you do your thing, and then the race starts. What's yeah. going through your mind? How you feeling while you do it? You've you been know, prepping for this for a while now, so like the adrenaline's going, the the preparation is finally in commencement of actually doing something. Yep. What what was it like? So I'm gonna get sappy. So if anybody knows me, they know that my I'm gonna I might cry again. Yeah, I might cry. They know my my grandfather sent me pennies from heaven. I'm crying. You can't say. Ah, that's okay, man. But it's kind of funny because last night me and Dave went to uh, Junior's uh, for a burger. And last night, open restaurant, like a lot of seats. You know, the, the waitress puts us at this one table. I look down, there's a penny. And then... Could have been, ear- se- ear- been any seat in there. Earlier today, there was another one. And then as I put my water down before... Fuck. As, okay, man. as I was warming about up, it. as I was warming up, I could have put my water down anywhere, and there was a penny right underneath my water. And as she's hyping us up in the tunnel, you know, I just touch my pocket. I still have it in there, and I just go, "All right, Dad, let's go." I don't know why, but that shit fucked me up, man. Hey, yeah, dude, real emotions, real moment, yeah, dude. bro. That shit fucked me up. Yeah, and uh, I started crying in the tunnel a little bit. And I just like sat back and thought, like, Fat Tyler is like, damn, dude. <laughs> and and you know, my grandfather's like, damn, dude. Out here doing it, bro. Up, yeah, man. nah, man. <laughs> you out here doing it, bro. Yeah. You gotta be proud of yourself, man. You've uh, gone through a lot. Yeah, man. You've gone through a lot to get to this point, dude. Yeah, it's, for we, sure. You know, we, Tyler and I, we really did switch our whole fucking training style up. Real. He's definitely more on the on the cardio side versus yeah. me, but I mean 
two let's say let's let's throw it back two years ago. Two years ago, we never would have thought that we'd be no, in, involved with this type of a community workout gym, whatever you want to call it. And 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 in con- in collaboration of all of that, coming to an event like this yeah. where I get to watch Tyler fucking do his thing. Yeah. I mean, yo, this is this is no fucking joke. I mean, it really isn't. Just start to finish. Just give me the event order and the list of what you have to do for a High Rocks event. So it's all timed. It goes based on time. Now, yeah, fastest if, wins kind of thing. Fastest wins. So if you listen to my my podcast episode with Constantine, we spoke about High Rocks and all that. If you didn't catch it, it's cool. But basically, start to finish. Whoever finishes the fastest in the heat, and then obviously overall for the entire That's competition. How you get the flag, yeah. What are the movements start to finish? So. In between each run is a, uh, I guess it's a thousand meters. I, I mean, I we use a different metric system here in the U.S., so I don't fucking know. Uh, but you guys get what I'm saying. So it's a thousand meters, and then so you start with the ski erg, then it's a weighted push. It's like three something, a weighted pull on the sled. It's like two something. After that, you go to the rower. After the rower is the burpee broad jumps. Burpee broad jumps goes to the uh, farmers carries, farmer carry to lunge, lunge to wall ball, and in between each of those exercises is uh, another thousand. Another yeah. Thousand. So it's point six two miles is what it works out to each. So yeah. So that's what you see everybody miles. doing behind yeah. us right now, running around. These they're in between. They're in between all of their exercises. Yeah, let's go, baby. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know anybody. Else. <laughs> I'm just hype. <laughs> Trying to see motherfuckers do good. I'm just hype. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So you you come out the gate yes. hot, hot, ready to go. Yeah. And you go to the ski erg. Yes. That was after your first couple of laps. First, yeah, so the first. Two laps, right? Yeah, it's, two, well, it's, it's like two and a little bit It's a, you know, to get to the point six two. They have it laid out actually extremely nice. Okay. Um, you know, it's a little confusing when you hear about it, but when you do it, it's like, oh, okay, like this isn't that bad. Yeah. So I get to the ski erg. Ski is probably one of my better events. Look at the little cutie. <laughs> little cutie. Um, <laughs> ski erg is probably one of my better events. But the problem is for me is that I uh, my my emotions were high and you know my, my I was like my heart rate's ready to go, and I started out a little hot, I started out a little hot. My heart rate got up high, it's hot whatever. Uh, but the skier was good. Skier came out. I was probably like well above pace where I should have been, and then when I got to the push, which is the next event, that's where I started feeling my heart rate because uh, it's not like the the one at OG. The one at OG it glides a little better. Oh, you're saying the, the pushing push. sled yeah, off the of sled the turf? Push. Yeah, gotcha. It's uh, it, it's definitely a tougher push than it is anywhere else, and it's a lot of push. Um, that's where like my heart rate started to jump, for sure. Yeah. So, you know, after that, you know, the running, I felt fine doing the runs. I was keeping pace like a five minute, like around five minute point six twos, which is like a nine minute mile or whatever it is. Um, which, which, isn't is bad. It's great. It, which isn't bad. I mean, listen, the elite runners are doing six and seven minute miles. Okay, but the like, elite runners have also been doing this their entire yeah. lives for the most part, unless yeah. they're a freak. Yeah, they're freaks. But, but you know, listen, dude, it's dope. Let's What's go. up, guys? Hi, How, are How are we doing? doing? Oh, Ripping a little pod. Doing a little podcast. Just, Just hanging little, out. Little, little, little head judge. What's going on, baby? How you doing? I'm not a head judge. Oh, you have a head judge. Oh, he stole, stole me. He stole me. You're stealing me. What's going on, man? How you doing? Nick and Tyra. Sorry? Nikki Rizzles, Rizology, episode one hundred. This is episode one hundred of the podcast. Experience. That was him. That was I, yeah, I was, was just cheering his ass on. I'll tell you what, we're, we're showing a lot of love. This is laid out beautifully. Sure. This is um, my first, probably my last. I'll be honest with you. I'm, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a strength. I'm a strength guy, man. I came from the bodybuilding world, and uh, I started running. Don't you tell me that uh, medium. It's all you had left. It's the way it's draped <laughs> over the chest, right? It's, I knew You only had a medium left. It's the only reason I bought it. What, what, I need a large. A new cooler. Lo, ro, well, we were saying before, everybody's doing run clubs to meet their significant yeah. others and everything now. So it's it's all fun stuff, man. It's all oh, fun stuff. Yo, fun. dude. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. you guys Appreciate Absolutely, you. Yeah. What's cool. up, boss, man? Nick. Pleasure, bro. My brother. You have what? no idea. What did, did he say? He was the head. He wasn't the head judge. He had a head judge sticker on. Him. Then what did he say? He wasn't the head judge, though. I can't remember what he said to me afterwards. I'll be honest with you. He's probably what a tired. handsome guy. Yeah, d- definitely. I, I don't I, know who that was, but he was handsome. I couldn't look into his eyes. I, oh, I could look right. I into looked those past. Eyes. I look. I was looking at the ear. I'll tell you what. These runners, man, fucking handsome dudes. Handsome motherfucker. It's crazy. They're handsome by association. Yeah. Uh, that's why I was body. You know. That's why I went to the bodybuilding world. You just keep getting bigger to hide yeah. the ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Except, got, for, except for Chris Bumstead. Yeah, well, well yeah. I mean, that dude is. Shout out to Chris Bumstead. Just, shout out to C Bum, who was on Jordan Peterson's podcast. That's a very weird collaboration. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so. Yeah, my heart rate peaked at the, at the push. The I remember David Goggins saying some shit about 
the heart rate, and yeah. he said you can you 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 can. It was something along the lines of you could always start slower and regular and then yep. jack it up versus well, you start so high and then yeah. it's hard to come down. It's hard to remember when you're in this. Like, for, as my fir- for my first event, it, it, like, you have a strategy going in, out the door. Yeah. Like, it's it's hard to remember what you've been training and doing. And I'm sure that's just because it's your first event. Yeah, because you're excited, if it was If, it was, if it was if your tenth pre- event, it's not, you know, it's not. If you're deal. primed for this shit, it's a lot more, you know. But um, I was able to catch my breath a little bit as I was talking shit to you on the rower. Um, you know, my heart rate definitely came down, and I was able to keep it around. I mean, listen, my heart rate was jacked. It was like 168 to 172 the whole time. <clears throat> but I did peak at like 184. Um, and I'll tell you what, man. I was surprised. I usually do very good on wall balls and shit like that. I missed that fucking pla- uh, that plaque, let's call it, a lot. I must have done 120 because I fucked up so much. Yeah. But, you know, you live and you learn, man. It's high, It is too. definitely way it's higher. High. I mean, OG, they don't, they don't really care. Yeah, there's, you, no, there's no more. You kind of just, like, yeah. bump it wherever. Well, you got to go high, man. Yeah, you got to go high on that one. And how big, how heavy is the ball? Uh, is it a 20? It's like a 15-pound ball. 15, 20 15 pounds? 15 or 16. Okay. It's not a 20 because I know we train with a 20. Oh, there's uh, CJ rocking it out. Um, <laughs> there's, uh, there's a 20-pound ball at OG, and I know it's less than the OG ball. I know it's less. I don't know if it's 15 or 16. But gotcha. It's a, Yo, dude, it, it, it's not, that shit is not easy, man. Yeah. It's not easy. So. Talk to me. You finish up. Yes. You go lay down. You do your thing. Yeah. So now, what is the challenge in coming back down? Is it coming back down nice and gradually? Yeah. Because you're so jacked up from the adrenaline. How long were you going? What was the final time? Well, it, my, my final time was 128. I, I've heard average is like 130. So I said to myself, like, listen, I just want to be around there. Like, if I do that, I'm happy. You know, I just want to be somewhere near the average, yeah. top average line. Like, that's a win for me. Yeah. Which is, it's a win. The whole day's a win. Um, but coming down was tough because, like, as you, as you know, and I'll tell everybody else, I, I did have to go to the med tent. I needed an ice pack. I had to sit down. I don't know if it was adrenaline. I don't know if it was my blood sugar. I don't know what it was, but it's also, I was... It's also fucking 85 yeah, fucking degrees right, out yeah. right now. But uh, I, I needed to chill. Like, I had to sit down, ice pack, and shout out to the med tent. Yeah, med tents were awesome. The med tents were awesome. Um, Yeah, I had had to chill, man. Okay. Because I had too much just, like, adrenaline going. Again, I don't know what it was, but uh, I knew I was fine. I knew I wasn't going to pass out. I knew I wasn't going to. Yeah. Look at big Coach T getting us ready for high rocks. You know, uh, so I had had to come down a little bit. You know, a little water. Yeah. Little little, little, uh, little face in the ice plunge. Face in the ice plunge was definitely a help. Yeah, dude. And, uh. A little, you know, what I have a little protein bar after, and I was, you know, I, I came back down a, a, eventually. And I'm good now, so mom, I'm fine. Jesus, <laughs> and I know, I know. She, it's, we're not even live. She's gonna text me. I heard yeah, that. I heard it. I heard it right Dawn, now. I'll tell you what. Dawn's got telepathy. Me yeah. and Dawn have crazy telepathy. It echoed crazy. from the pier. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'll tell you what, man. The pier is beautiful. The pier is beautiful, dude. It's a, it's a nice vibe, man. I mean, listen. I mean, I know everybody can't see it, but you're looking at the skyline of New York City, just looking glass beautiful yeah, like man. it's breathtaking man i like this building right here the spiral yes. that's yeah, where the i spiral parked. yeah and they have they, fucking... they, they actually have the well because they have uh, those are all penthouses oh so is that those are all those are all like, terraces? Out, like little terraces yeah that's a residential building that's sick i'm gonna have to cut to a video of of, of those things up there yep. oh it's over. it's over oh man you tried so, no, that's no, all right, no, you good. I'll shit. tell you what, these mics are beautiful. They ain't picking that up. They're not picking that up. They only know because we told them. <laughs> for, those that, for those that are uh, for those that are audio photo, yeah. photographs. For those that are audio, yeah. um, fence just decided to fall. That's Man, all right. Look at that slice. That's a slice. Are you, are you the MC by the way? You're the MC by the way. Yeah. You're doing a hell of a job. Hell of a job. Yeah. Shout out to you. Say what up there. You say yeah. We're live. We're live on Rizology, episode 100. What is it? Rizology. Rizology, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Rizology, the best podcast for both you and your daughters. Thank yep. you. For- oh! I knew I liked that guy. You're awesome. I knew I liked that guy. My man. I might have to make that. Might be the. <laughs> that might have to be the <laughs> drop. The, the Joe Rogan. At yeah. The, beginning. That's the best podcast. That's fucking. I, I mean, I think I'm good. That guy. That great. guy was good. That guy's great. Yeah. On the mic, though, in person, what, he, he sounds very different. On the yeah. mic, though, he sounds like uh, Tony Hinchcliffe. Hinchcliffe. But I will tell you what, if he shouts out Lance Armstrong one more time. By the way, Lance Armstrong raced today. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and well, who, not, who beat him? Uh, uh, Pete, uh, Jesse Diamond. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Diamond. Good for I'm going to get a Diamond. Jesse Diamond jersey. I want a tattoo of Jesse Diamond's signature. You're taking it up a notch. Yeah, I got it. I'll tell that. you what. Good, shout, out, shout out to Jesse Diamond. <laughs> 
because he was shouting out uh, Lance Armstrong a lot. A lot. And I saw Lance Armstrong. I told him. I said, hey, man, good stuff today. And what did he say to you? Ignored the he fuck ignored you like you were a fucking peasant. Like, like you I'm were a bitch. Fucking, yeah, like some little bitch. Yeah. I, like, you I, didn't buy, like you didn't have a whole forearm full of his bracelets at one point. Dude, you know how many Live Strong bracelets I have brokered over the years? Truth be told, I ran out of forearm space. I started using my... Anyway. What? <laughs> They just fell off. <laughs> they just fell just off, right. off. Yeah, that was it. Like, whoa, oh, come on. Can make a small one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but shout out to Lance. Lance was here running today. Yeah, shout out to Lance. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I just I, don't appreciate the fact he didn't say hello to me. I fucks with the little people. I fucks with my regular humans. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the unbeknownst to anybody, peeps. I love those types of people. Oh, yeah. Uh, excuse me. Do you want to make a cameo? Oh, let's get Coach T in. Come sit so, in cameo. Come sit between us. Let me let me let me let me broke let me broker this introduction to the Rizology podcast because I got a lot of love. He's for still this gonna guy. get his own episode. Oh, he will. But I got I, I gotta tell you, I got a lot of love. For, I, I will. I will. Hold on. I'm, and I'm gonna pass him my mic because I'm gonna bounce for. Oh, oh, you're leaving? I'm not leaving. But I'm I'm gonna pass him mine. I'm gonna pass him mine. I'm gonna pass him mine. Let me broker this introduction. Broker it. If you look for handsome in the dictionary, you found it. If you look for charming. In the thesaurus, Tom's name is right next to it. Not only is he an elite High Rocks coach, yes, but he also has a nice brajol. Oh. Mr. Tom! Oh. <laughs> he even looked over. What an introduction. <laughs> what an intro. Yeah, I would know. Yeah, he would. What an intro. When Thanks the rents do, the rents do. You know what this reminds me of? Being like live at like the All-Star game for like baseball. That's what I'm saying, man. People in like, hey, how you doing? What's going on? That's what I'm saying. Nice. We're making this a thing here. This is great. I love this. How was how was your? Oh, come on, my man, my pleasure, dude. We're gonna get into your background and who you are when you actually come and do an, a full okay. episode. All but right, why don't you give me a little breakdown? You're one of the run coaches at OG. You do your thing. This is your passion. You love this stuff. This is it, man. Um, so I picked up with Lenny and Ev doing right, some high rocks. Say he loves kids. Oh, oh, kids. whoa! Oh, in a good way. No, no, not you. Wait, I mean, oh, you got a mic oh, too. Danielle, Danielle, wanna get on the pod? Get on the pod. This is Danielle. She is the tunnel MC and the fucking best at her job. What do you want to say to the, to the pod? To the people. To the people. Uh, if you haven't raced the High Rocks, what are you doing? Because look That's at these guys. Rocks. Energy all day. Um, and do something that challenges you. This is High Rocks. That's what it's about. That's, called yeah. That's it. That's I appreciate it. you. Why does everybody in High Rocks just know exactly what to say? Well, she's been fucking she's spitting been fire. My voice has been more She's also had to say the same thing over and over again yeah. for 90 times. But I'm, yeah. but I'm 70 today. 70? Is that what it is? How many races a year? Uh, Probably 10. Yeah. It's my second time this year here. Second time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Still, It still hit you with the inhale the good shit, exhale the bullshit? I need, I need that today. Drop in. All right. Well, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and get a bagel and maybe. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to keep speaking. You save save the voice for when you're getting paid. Yeah. Bye, guys. Be good. Let me. Let's immediately clarify uh, Tyler's comments there. I'm. (laughs) Let's immediately get back to. I'm a special education teacher right here. Thank you. I I have you know the the bracelets, Tyler. So I am a teacher. So uh, yes, I do enjoy working with children. I suppose. Yes. Yes. But this is the way that you put it is much nicer. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, This is the passion, man. This is fucking great. I've been going OG for like three something years. Um, You know, Evan and Lenny approached me with the High Rocks coaching thing, and I'm like, fuck it, let's ride, man. And this shit's great. You have people out here doing shit that they never thought they'd be doing. You have people out here pushing their limits, reaching their goals, and you can't get any fucking better. Like Danielle said, man, this shit's awesome. Yeah. So it's fucking... That's it. I was never athletic as a kid, so this is it for me. Yeah, I was going to say, so what, what, got you, what got you into the running portion of things? Uh, childhood trauma. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's be honest. It's fucking... Well, I, dude, you know, we're always honest, man. We're yeah. always fucking transparent. You know, I was looking for a place to go, and then my buddy Zach Gunson. Zach, okay. Zach, great dude. We'll talk about more about him and when he Zachy came Guns. on yours. Great guy. Zachy Guns. Um, he brought me to OG, and it was a fucking great time. And then I got into this because there was just people doing the workouts. And I hopped in originally on a Saturday. Like, it's an extra cardio class. Why the fuck not? And then what it ended up turning it into was this. I never expected this to, to become a thing. I do the ambassadorship with IROX. So if you're looking for 10% off, use my code. Um, What's the code? Tom W 10 I think. There you 10. go. Yeah. Use my code. Um, you know, I got into it there. It's just... It's something different about this. Like it's outside of like the CrossFit games, where like I feel like that's kind of exclusive, where everybody yeah. just gets involved with this shit. And this is great, man. The energy's high. Again, you have people crushing their fucking goals. It's awesome. I get yeah. off on this shit, man. This is this is great. No, it's dope. I, I saw you crushing it, doing your thing. What was the final time? One seventeen and change. Awesome. Which I came in with no expectations. I'm like, hey, the conditions are what they are. What they are. You know, I had some stuff going on. Couldn't train as much as I wanted to. So I'm like, what'd you have? I coached track. 
I coached track at uh, the high school that I work at, and that was taking up much of my time. I tried running with them a lot, but no injury know. though, or anything like that. No, I, I mean tape. that too. My knees a little fucked up, but okay. shout out to Zick PT keeping me together. Um, but yeah, you know, we we hit it. We did it. We did it. We we did okay. Yeah, I'm happy with it. And so now. Going into it, how did you feel while you were doing it? While you were going through the um, the actual event, were there any specific challenges? Like, were there certain areas that were harder for you that you didn't expect, or that weren't necessarily the last time? The honestly, last time I didn't have an issue with the burpee broad jumps, but this time because of that black carpet and the heat, bro, I let, I went down and I'm like, this is like searing hot. Oh, it's like so melting heat, your yeah. fucking knees. Dude, the oh. heat's no joke today. You know, shout out to the girls going later. They got their work cut out for them. Um, runs felt good. It was really the wall balls that did me in this time. Yeah. It was in my did you keep just, missing it? Because that's what T said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Yo, had a Ty. Of problem. Ty, he kept missing the he kept missing the wall the wall ball too. Dude, I, tough. I, I must have done 120, and then they no repped me on I think like two because I didn't get low enough, which was bullshit because they didn't no rep by the way. And I'm gonna stick up for Say that it. 7:30 heat. The dudes that came in first, y'all had eight or nine no rep wall balls that counted. You did not deserve that. I'm sorry. I'm just keeping it real, and I there was thought, no penalty time. I it. thought you were going to call out Lance Armstrong because they were giving I him a lot did. of. Yeah. I already called out Lance oh, Armstrong. They were giving him <laughs> reps, and Constantine was his judge. I was like, Constantine, what are you doing? But it's tough. It's good for the brand. Nah, guys. call him out. Brand. Call motherfucker out. Good for the brand. <laughs> Constantine was on the podcast. We're calling Constantine out. Yeah, good dude. Constantine's a great guy. Constantine got me into the ambassadorship, man. He Sick. really he helped me out. He opened up a lot of doors for me. Really good dude. Really good, genuine guy. Yeah, it's no, no. Great. It's all good. It's all good people, man. That's what it is. It's it's just. Is everybody come, coming through the camaraderie of fucking fitness, hanging out? Yeah. It's the same thing with, like, the jujitsu stuff. It's yeah. the same thing in this aspect. It's just everybody comes together for these tournaments, these, these experiences. Goal, and yeah, I'm just getting better, another. doing things. I mean, because really, truthfully, what would we be doing besides this? Exactly. You know, like laying around, fucking vegetating on the couch. That's literally which it. I think it's still important to do. Well, that's all I'm doing But tomorrow. after you put your fucking, yeah, <laughs> after you put your tomorrow. fucking work in, bro. Exactly. There's a big difference. A lot of worse things that we got out there doing today. Beautiful fucking day out in New York City. The views are great. I, Tyler and I were just saying, man, the views are fucking awesome, bro. That was the one thing I didn't take in while I was running because I'm just like, fucking go. But I should have looked around. I should have enjoyed yeah. it a little more. But it was good well, I got a couple of shots of you. so I you'll, appreciate you'll, that. You'll probably see Yeah, of course, man. You'll probably that. see the fucking skyline in the background, a little bit of the pier and everything like that. That's awesome. So Keep now, uh, everybody, we got guys going pretty much all day. What's the last heat? Do you uh, know? Uh, the last heat, I believe the relays at like 7.30. So okay. We got, we got two relays. We got um, Brandon and Billy going pro at 6.30. I think Claudia is the last girl at 540. We have, there is somebody from OG in every fucking heat. And yeah. it is incredible. You know, you just, you love to see these people out here doing this shit, man. Yeah. And again, like, I get, I kind of get like tear out. I get emotional because I see everyone out here working for something and then everyone supporting them. It's great. We have some, we had 107 people on that spreadsheet and that was missing some people too. So you're looking at maybe 115 people competing from one gym. You can't find Is that people. more than most gyms? I would think so. I know a couple of CrossFit ones in the city probably have a lot, but it's, I would venture it's to say It's also because of uh, the actual uh, people to surface air, like, right. I guess the distance around for the gym. Right, right. So 107-plus people, that's something to be fucking proud of. Who's he <laughs> You're Tyler? Who's he chirping at? <laughs> Big dog's got to eat, motherfucker. That's all you hear him in the background. Dude, I love it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going <laughs> to... Who's he chirping at? Floor, yo, Floor and Rob are looking fucking great out there, yeah. too. We have so many doubles out there right now. The ladies go off soon. So now you think the doubles is easier than the singles? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be my next venture, I think. I'm trying to do it with Rob. But Rob Young, I'm shouting you out on the podcast. We're shouting doing the doubles. You out. Doing the doubles. I don't know when, but that's going to be my next one. Yeah. There's only so many singles you can do where it's like, all right, this is fun. I want to beat my time. That's cool. But like, do it with a buddy. Push your, you know, push yourself. Yeah. Something else. I, well, I always love going to the fucking gym early with Tyler. We always push each other, so it's always nice yeah. where you're in each other's, especially when you do like the one, one, one rep, one yes. rep, or, you know, yes. two, two, and then you're, you're just pushing each other in each other's yep. face, barking. Everyone's very, like, intimidated by the partner shit at OG, but you find friends, you find a way to get yeah. it done there, man. People are super friendly, and, like, the partner work is, like, the least intimidating thing, because, again, everyone's like-minded there. Like you said, you could be hanging out with worse fucking people. You could be out doing drugs and drinking all the time. Like, yep. It's, it's hey, great. hey, hey, there she is. Uh, we need you back on the mic, miss. <laughs> She's probably like, what the fuck are you guys doing? She's yeah. great. She's so good. So good at her job. But yeah, man, this is great. This is great stuff. So now what else you got going on for the rest of the weekend? You said tomorrow you're vegetating out. Today yep. we're just chilling out here doing um, your thing now that you're done. Yeah, I mean, I got a City Field Spartan race coming up June 22nd. And then we got marathon training, the New York City Marathon. Sick. We got a good group of, from uh, OG, about eight of us. And I think, I'm hoping, it's Lindsay and Frank, I'm hoping that we start maybe in like two weeks would be nice. Give my body a little break. Tyler, 
You doing the marathon training? <laughs> he said he's done running. He's done with it. You go, you're you going back to strong, it. man? He's going back to strong, man. Get All right. Into it. He'll be fine. He, he <laughs> fucking crushed it. He did great, man. He's going to pick up weights, he said. Come back. Hey, hey. come back. I'm calling in the righty. Let's see who he's going to cheer on. He's vibing, baby. Yeah, he's vibing he's right vibing. now. Listen, the vibes are immaculate here. I'll vibes tell you what, though. I'm probably going to end this soon because I don't want to have the camera in the sunlight because it'll just cook it. But, um, dude. Hey, thanks for having me on. Come on, bro. I appreciate you appreciate coming out, it. hanging out, chopping it up with the kids. Absolutely, baby. Oh, now you're back. I, oh, here we I got, go. I got oh, like another ten, from the five time. to ten minutes. Be, no, no, battery's good. No. I got five, ten minutes because I don't want this camera getting cooked, oh, by, getting the, cooked right? by the sun. No, I feel that. I feel that. So what do you got? You got what do you got going on the rest of the day, man? Uh, I'm going back to Huntington, and I'm going to go ke hang out with a king. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, I am going to, in a little bit, probably right after this pod, head back to the hotel, get showered up, clean. Uh, you want to snack some food after this? I'll be honest with you, I do need something to eat. Quick bowl or something? Well, I got. I have, like, a, a, a hotel food credit. Oh, you do? Yeah. I want you to talk to Dave, by the way. Dave's an ex-Marine. Who's Dave? David. Adamas. Who's that? The dude I just introduced you before. Oh, to the right. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yo, David, David, get over here. Because he's your kind of guy. So David is... This is my kind of guy. He's your... Well, he's Nicky Rhythm's kind of guy. But he is... All right, keep the, keep the shirt off, man. Give the people what they want. Ex-Armed Forces. Fairly new to OG. But that's my boy right there. I, 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 I want to get my boy on the uh, the pod for a little bit. Come chill for a sec. Come hang out before the sun cooks the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting cooked. Yeah. <laughs> Introduce something to fucking What's going right on, now? everyone? David Adamas. Look how handsome that fucking guy is. Jesus Christ. Crazy. I see the the light glistening off of his retinas. I gotta this is you, crazy. Every, every time there's a girl in my DMs, I go, you could be with David. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He's lying. He's lying. That is not a lie. <laughs> Tyler doesn't lie much. I don't lie about that shit. Talk to me, man. How was it? How was that? How was the uh, the rocks event, man? It was it was good, man. This is my first event. Um, this is my first ever competition, and um, I could have definitely trained a lot more. Um, going I think into everybody this, everybody feels like that though. Everybody's gonna feel like they got to train a little bit more. Yeah. But um, no, I felt great, man. I'm like, coming into here, you know, uh, I didn't have a, a lot of expectations. I just wanted to come out here, have fun, and uh, I pushed myself harder than I, you know, I expected, and came out. Came out with a great time. That's amazing, dude. Yeah. That's amazing. And he was telling me you were spe special forces. You were, so I was in the in the United States Marine Corps. I served uh, five years active duty. Uh, deployed to Kuwait and Iraq. Um, and yeah, yeah. I, um, out. I'm sure some of the resilience you built over there brought over to here. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Get out of here. Be good, baby. Always a pleasure. See you later, brother. What I, what I wanted to ask you, Dave, because I was genuinely curious, because I haven't had a chance to ask you this weekend yet. And I know we, we actually spoke about in the hotel, like, you don't even take your clothes out of your uh, suitcase because, like, that's that's how you were brought up through, you know, the, the armed forces. What kind of work did you do in the Marine Corps that kind of prepared you for something like this? So, so yes, to, to go over what you said, so I keep I keep my, my clothes in my luggage still, you know. It's just that, like, mentality of, like, you never know when you have to pick up and go. Um, so, I you know, I still have that, that, that military mindset of just, you know, keeping that... Keep that, keeping that in the luggage and everything. But um, uh, when I served in the Marine Corps, I was an intelligence analyst. Uh, so I worked with uh, the grunts on the ground. I was able to provide uh, uh, classified briefings to the commanding officer and everything. So I, I dealt with a lot of classified information. Uh, I was able to see things and uh, listen in and read on a lot of things that most people don't really know about. Um, but it was cool because my job pertained to giving the commanding officer all the information he needed to make the next move in his mission to, to be successful. And not only that, but provide safety to the guys going forward because let's say they were going on a, a patrol, you know, in the middle of Iraq. I was one of the, the guys, uh, based off of my, my background, to give them as much information as possible so that they are ready to go. Yeah. They know if like there's any IEDs there or any enemies in that area. I was the one. To yeah. Give someone them that would say super important information. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Very, very yeah. Probably more of like a strategic focus for something like this. Then, like you were able to kind of really look forward to the next thing. Yeah. So, just being in the Marine Corps in general, like motivation and just resilience was the number one thing. I mean, like. Pain is weakness to leaving the body. That was like one of the quotes that uh, they ingrained in us when we were getting in and becoming Marines. So 
even just pushing through like events like this and everything, like I would feel pain in my legs, my shoulders, but it's only it's only temporary, you know, like it's, it's only going to be for a little bit of time and then you just push past it. So that's yeah. the mindset I had going into here. Like I knew I would, my legs were cooked at certain stations, but I knew it was only for a little bit of time. So. Yeah. Yeah, the resilience stuff is tough, man. You have to you have to be able to turn that brain off and just keep walking and keep going. So especially when you see some people that are just like kind of shuffling along. I go, yeah, bro, keep those feet moving. Absolutely. Because if you stop, I mean, that was way worse than if you just kind of just slowed down a little bit and then push forward again. Yeah, I will say the one thing I told myself, and I, I listen. I, it, sometimes it's tough in the rock zone, especially when there was no water for anybody. But don't stop, and that's just with anything though, not with just this shit. You're better off going at. A little bit faster than just a you know than a snail's pace. Yeah, yeah. Like I noticed, I noticed I slowed down a little bit, like at like the rock zone, just to like grab water. And even the slightest bit of slowing down, I felt my leg just cramp up a little yeah. bit. I'm like no, I got I got to keep going because it builds up that that, that lactic, lactic acid. yeah that lactic acid. In that here. was like us when we ran that time because that was the longest I ever yeah, ran yeah. continuously. That 45 minutes that we did. Mm -hmm. And it was like, if I knew if I stopped, because the second we stopped, I, I wasn't running yeah, anymore. Yeah, that was it. Legs, it was over. Your legs blow up. Yeah. You start cramping, like, you know, you know, especially if you're not drinking enough water and you're, you know, your food's not good, your nutrition shit, you're not going to fucking cramp up and you're going to feel like shit. That's why yeah. I said, like, you know, just finish the run. Like, just finish the run. And honestly, like, because this is my first High Rocks, um, you know, just OG in general, like the environment, the people, like, that pushed me and that motivated me to the max. I mean, like, going out there, just, like, I knew I was by myself out there, but, like, I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, I, I'm out here training with these people for months, and, you know, I know, like, that motivation just kicked in as, like, I'm in my fourth station, I'm doing the burpee broad jumps, I'm like, oh, I'm tired, but I'm like, you know what? I've been training for this, like, I gotta push myself, and yeah. it, it's just an amazing feeling. That's I awesome. love the environment at this gym. All right, so you, it's, it's safe to say you're gonna do another one. Absolutely, and you're, and absolutely. You're, and you're gonna drag T to do the other one with you again. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push him to no, 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 do no, no, another one. I'm going to tell motherfuckers. <laughs> I am done. I am going back we're, to lifting weights. We're going to do doubles. We're going to do doubles. I'm going back to lifting weights. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I, know, I know you like the... The lifting weights, uh, that strong man, open uh, one group. Uh, I'll tell you what I like. I like the view around here. The view is great. Yeah, the view is uh, phenomenal. He's not talking about the skyline. No. Definitely not. The water, <laughs> the water's nice. The you know the building's great, but the view around here is beautiful. High rocks pieces. I, I might, I might have to just come to come to High Rocks just for that. Yeah, I might just be a spectator forever, <laughs> forever. Yeah. No, I'll definitely, I'll definitely do another High Rocks for sure. I don't know uh, the time frame. Um, I'm looking at Fort Lauderdale for sure. Sick. Like next year, February time frame. So. Definitely gonna try to hit that. That's where the that's where the pieces are gonna be. Fort Lauderdale. There's girls in Fort Lauderdale even before you throw high rocks. On I know. Uh, we out. Uh, we out. I'm bringing the setup. It, We're you out. Know the, you know what the problem is though, Nick? It's gonna feel like New Orleans. It's gonna be mad muggy. Ah. Uh, oh, it's gonna it's gonna be so. But it's in February. It's not not in oh, not in July. Yeah, true. That's true. That's true. It'll yeah. still be hot, but it's not gonna be like yeah, that hot. No, not like that. I'll tell you one thing though. This is my first podcast ever. Is it? It's my first. Well, we'll do a real episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. Yeah. You'll do a real episode. Yeah, sit no, in the studio. No, this is hang awesome. Out. Yeah. The dog will be hanging yeah. out and bothering you. I mean, there's, there's no better environment than this. I mean, we're all out here. We're hey, cooking. Guys. We're having a good time. We're killing ourselves out here. But hey, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful environment. Hey. Beautiful scenery. Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't get better than this. This is what I'm talking it. about. And listen, and, and Nikki, get you right back on this pod. We got to rip a full one. Chill, oh, hang out, and do for sure. For sure. This is. I mean, this is episode 100. So. Oh, this episode, this, oh, this is episode, episode 100. Little, little special edition. Oh, wow. Little awesome. special edition. Yeah. That's why we're doing it live in the field, man. No, it's a little different. Doesn't get better than this. Doesn't get better than this. Yeah, man. Yeah, so. Let us know. We gotta, we'll get Dave back on for a full one with, with Nikki. Absolutely. We'll do definitely, Tom. Definitely drop more into some of the, the military stuff. You know, drop more into some training. Drop more into, you know, wherever, wherever, we, uh, wherever that conversation goes, man. Me and Nikki just, you know how we are. We just fucking riff. We hang so, out, we riff, and we fucking dip. That's it. Nothing Nick, better. Than Nick, Nikki can riff with the best of them. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm only on. I'm only on for special occasions, which nah, is how nah, I like nah, it and nah. love it. But you know, my, my boy be riffing. So. Nah, they remember. They, were, they remember Brajol Brothers. Brothers. The episode will go. They remember Brajol Brothers. That was our oh, podcast. They remember oh, that I shit. Know. Oh, I yeah, know. I got all those episodes on archive. Yeah, oh yeah, we got. The, uh, we, wait, we got some good clips. Waiting, <laughs> waiting. Oh wait, here, and she's gonna love this, Lauren. I will always serve up, and Lauren, by the way, is not somebody I'm interested in, so I'm just going to throw that okay, out there with okay, a disclaimer. Okay, okay. But it, there's always room 
for a dick and a Michelin star. Yes, let's go. There's room for dick let's and a Michelin go. star. Let's go. She's going to love that. She's going to fucking love that. I love you, Lauren. Let's get that podcast rolling where me, you, and Nikki sit down and you give us questions and I can questions give a first. And all the yeah, first uh, reactions. Would you rathers and oh, shit yeah, like that. Would you it's better when you don't know them. Yeah, 100%. When you know them, it's horrible. Yeah, you're, just, you're already anticipating the thought of what you're going to do or what the... Uh, when you don't know it and you get like that real reaction, yeah. that is the best. It's fun stuff, man. That's the best. It's fun stuff. Hey, listen, man. I think uh, I think we're good. I think we're good, man. I got I got another I got another fifteen minutes to get to the car. Listen, man, so, we had a fun little sporadic episode for episode one hundred. I am so and I wanted to say this before Nikki Rizzles wraps it up. So proud of my brother. Hundred episodes deep. Crazy. The most awesome. interesting motherfuckers that have come on. Yeah. He still allows me to grace the mic and talk to y'all and I'm glad that you guys tune in. Um, I know we were a little hectic and all over the place, and you probably heard me screaming and giving a whole lot of profanities, but the emotions are high. Um, they probably didn't. These mics are amazing. Yeah, these mics are great. And by the way, <laughs> a shout-out to Amazon for getting these mics to Nick in six hours. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dude, they delivered this motherfucker oh, at like 5 a.m. Yeah. Yo, Jeff Bezos. Yeah. You don't, have, you don't have to send the check or the, no, or the sponsorship. Don't. But do. <laughs> but yeah. do. But do. All right. Yeah. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to cheering some motherfuckers on. Yep. Rizology, it's always been a pleasure. Listen, everybody like, share, subscribe. It was all yes, over sir. episode. In the, in the moment, live, in the raw, in the jungle of High Rocks, just hanging out. You know how I we really do. hope you guys enjoyed it. Please follow some of the people that I had. Sit down with us. Tom, everybody. Yeah. I think Bro. Tom is TCVW24, D underscore Adamus, A D A M E S 27. And you already know me, Tyler you know underscore Frusco, a.k.a. Mr. Sexy, a.k.a. hashtag your girlfriend's girlfriend. I mean, wait, what? Whoa! Oh. Shoot first. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, nah, all love, baby. Follow us on socials. Shoot me in my DMs. Still single. Crazy. I don't know how. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Okay. I, I appreciate all y'all for fucking with us, but for now, peace. peace.